Welcome to monthly news number 20. So we're currently in front of our brand new workspace. Well, it's basically just an empty building. Um, but let me show you what the plan is for this month to do. Alright, so this is basically uh, the workspace with a bit more space there as well. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's fully empty. So the plan is to um, build the machines here, develop new products, shred plastic, work with robotics to sort out uh, the different types of plastic. And so we still need to fill up this entire space with tools and machines. Um, and besides that, we also need to take care of other stuff. Like we're gonna build a, a kitchen in there and make a chill space where people can hang out in the evening. And so we're gonna make everything temporary because we're temporary here, so a lot of old second-hand and recycled products. And we're gonna do that in this month. So a lot of work to do, but we also have people from over the world coming in to help us out. So it should be fun. And uh, let me show you a few things how the building is right now. So the building used to be an old uh, car repair maintenance shop. So there's still some old details in there. We're not really gonna use it, but uh, looks fun. It's quite an old building, so there were also, I guess, throughout the years, some few accidents that happened, like fires. And besides the big space there, we also have another big space here. Still need to fix some lights, but uh, yeah, more space available to work. And this is the area where the customers would come in, so there's a little shop. Um, but we're gonna use this to make a chill space, ping pong table, some bags to sit on, some nice plants. Also up there, this is gonna be the nice space. And finally in this room we're gonna build uh, the kitchen where the vegan chefs can do their magic. Not a super exciting space, but um, should be good. So me and Thomas are gonna start off uh, preparing this space before the others come in. They were gonna help us later on. Um, are you confident? I'm very confident. Excellent. A new fridge, two. not only one but two. With a 60 40 percent chance of that they work. And the radio, can you even hear stuff? Yo! First guys in town. <laughs> What are you getting? I'm getting uh, forks. Forks? Yeah. So this is the first official precious plastic dinner in the workspace with Joy taking care of the of the sound and uh, Adrian taking care of uh, tonight's meal. What have you cooked, Adrian? Gaspacho. Gaspacho. And that's our uh, lovely romantic table in the workspace with some uh, crickets. <laughs>
are you doing here? Uh, making a compost bin. <laughs> making a home for worms. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I should leave it open a little bit, yeah, so that they go. Deep. They will go down. Yeah. No warm left. Oh, it's less gross than I imagined. It's less gross? Yeah. No, they're cute. So here we have the workspace now, all up and running. Let me show you the most important part, obviously, the kitchen. Today's menu we have pumpkin soup and hopefully some bread. So here we have our two vegan chefs killing it with the food. Hey hey. How's it going here? Good. Preparing lunch. Chopping vegetables. Chopping vegetables. Nice. It's always nice and calm here. <laughs> we will have a bean curry with rice and fresh salad for lunch. Hey, the sign said pumpkin soup with hopefully bread. That's for yesterday. Uh, That's a trick for people to be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and for the dinner we'll have pumpkin hummus with homemade falafel, homemade pita bread and falafels. Ooh, nice Ooh. one. Alright, good luck. Good luck, babe. We'll see mama. <laughs> and here we have Istvan. He's taking care of our uh, hey waste. Hey. Yes, we are. We have a lot of focus on uh, ordering when we order like the food and, and stuff to order it in a way that it's uh, in a bulk so that we minimize the amount of waste that we produce. But we do have some waste and we have made like a bio waste. We have paper and cardboard and then clean plastic and then we have the burnables. These are the stuff that we need to send to the landfill or burn. Um, one of the cool things that I like about it is that we have, for example, um, the cardboard here that we shred in the machine. And then these ones we can uh, use for packaging when we deliver the shredders and stuff like that. But we can also feed it to the worms. The worms? The worms. And they are right here where Sue is currently, a worm girl. Hello, everyone. Hey. <laughs> So yeah, this is our vertical worm bin that built from scratch. So as you can see, the cover is made from uh, recycled plastic sheets. Awesome and yeah. So uh, it's the these are all the a week of our food scrap that we produce from the kitchens, and the worms are going to help us to transform this into a rich nutrients uh, fertilizer. So we are going to use this liquid fertilizer to supply our herbs garden soon to be. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, and then we go to the workshop, which is there. Everything is long distance, so we move quickly. Hello. Hello. So we're currently in the workshop. We are in uh, the tool workshop here. So you have here like a whole wall of like stuff you can use for both sides. So there you have the metal workshop and there you have the wood workshop. And we still try to arrange that. And then on the other side we have uh, yeah, more like the things related to plastic and all the plastic shredders and uh, the grains and everything. Anything else you want to say? Uh, no, well, safety first. Um, safety so first. Fun. <laughs> cool. Okay, um, and now we have there the office and the fun space. So this is the fun area. Yo! Yo! The Welcome to the funnery. <laughs> this is where we eat pizza, we chill, we do presentations, relax. Have a nice time. Uh, we have one rule of the fun room, only one room, which is that you have to take your shoes off to show on our lovely carpets. And as well as the fun room, we have the tropical bar, which is open from 7 pm onwards, strictly after work. And you can buy beer here, we have the beer fund, and have a good time. Awesome. And Jess is our coordinator, big fan of Excel, right? <laughs> Actually, not a big fan of Excel. Oh, okay. Coffee More fan than me. Excel. Get an Excel. <laughs> right. Let's proceed. 
And upstairs we have um, the office, which is currently occupied by uh, our web development team working on the new platform. We'll just leave them to discuss, hey. And this guy is now gonna record the monthly news. Okay, so the first interesting um, experiments that we've been uh, spotting in our community is from a user called Mark Riek, which has been uh, creating parts for his own uh, CNC milling machine. And what he's done basically is created a mold using CNC milling machine that can create parts for his, for his own CNC milling machine, which is kind of cool sort of cycle. And we really like to see people using uh, precious plastic uh, machines in order to make more useful products. So next is our friends uh, Rice and Carry. The, they managed to put together not one, but two containers where they uh, well, basically collect, recycle, wash, make products uh, in beautiful Sri Lanka. And they've been sharing some pictures on the forum of these beautiful containers in incredible location. And we are both very jealous and also super excited to see where they can take it in the next, uh, in the next months. All right, and last but not least is our friend from uh, Taller Esferica. Uh, Barcelona. The last month they went to Sweden in Stockholm to run a couple of days workshop where they would get people from the public to inject their own plastic recycled sunglasses. And they even got the Queen of Sweden to inject their own sunglasses and looking cool as you can see here. Uh, well done guys, it's a dream of a lifetime I guess. Maybe not. Right, so to conclude, I would like to invite every single one of you right here in Eindhoven on uh, October 20th. As part of the Dutch Design Week, we're gonna be opening our doors and welcome you guys to come down, share a drink with us, share some amazing vegan food, and have a chat, get together, share our experiences, and um, yeah, have a, just, just have a fun evening. Thanks everyone for supporting on Patreon, and I'll see you right here next month with a lot of Dutch Design Week news, a lot of updates about the space, and, uh, and much, much, much more. See you later.